Oh, he got, he got no sounds. He ain't got no sound. Mm-mm. He ain't got no sound. It looks like he's recording. Nope, still nothing. Is that better? Yes. Nailed it. See, when well, they update the shit, it, it sets all the default settings back. God, fuck you, Skype. This episode brought to you by Skype. This is the first the first <clears throat> official endorsement of my show with Alex and Jake. Skype That's not fucking true. sucks. That's not true. Fucking sucks dick ass. Our uh, first bitches. episode our first episode was sponsored by Adidas. First episode was, it was unofficially. by me. I paid you guys. That's true. Robin was the first person to pay us. He was the first person to pay, but he didn't pay on the first episode. So yeah, nobody we, paid on the first episode. We've had like three official sponsors now, and only one hey, of them sucked. You guys can watch the basketball game in the reflection. Kinda. Let's see if I can get it better. I get a I get a gist of what's going on. There we, there we go. Are uh, the Ducks losing? No. No, we we won earlier. Nice. God, thank you, pessimistic Alex. Uh, out of, uh, it's out of work, one, Alex, man. One one of my many group chats has has languished in the underwhelming effectiveness of the Oregon Ducks men's basketball team this whole season. So yeah, they're, I not just lose, they're not going to lose to the Beavers. I didn't even know they were playing the Beavers. Of course I knew they wouldn't lose to the Beavers. Never mind. I take it back. Way to go. Just go hey, Ducks. Beavers hey, lost 18 in a row. The Beavers finished 3-28. and 28. So, I mean... Not defeated. Uh, there were three teams that lost to them. And the well, Ducks... One of them. Nope. It could be somebody's wires. Let's find out. I'm going to find out. Mm-hmm. Let's, um, let's see the murderer's row of teams Oregon State beat. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on. Oregon State. My phone doesn't even want to look at look it up. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're going all the way. So, whoop. Oop. Oop, a Gangnam Style. They they beat Portland State by nine. Mhm. Mhm. You got to scroll that far to find the next one, huh? It's, it shouldn't <laughs> be that far because they're all in the first um, 13 games that they won. They beat. They Nickel- hey, I found the other two. Oh. I found Nickel State. They beat them 83 okay. 61. And wow. then they beat Utah 88 76. Utah, you suck. Hey. Putin's a dickhead. Yeah. Then Oregon somehow almost flubbed it. They only beat them by mm-hmm. two. Well, it's because they were fired up. They're like, hey, we can beat somebody. No, you can't. <laughs> Let's see, after Oregon beat them by two, they lost by 10, 16, mm-hmm. 10, 22, 25, 23, 2, 11. 35, 36, 14, 20, 3, 39, 6, 4. Jeez. They lost back to back to Washington State. Like Washington State came to, to Oregon State and they won 103 97. And then they went Ooh. to back to Pullman and or and Washington State won. 7167. Hey, hey, hey guys, want to do that again? All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Run it back. Run it back. And then uh, 11, and then finally tonight, their season ended with a 14 point loss, which should have been like 20. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're bad. If Shockingly, Oregon... they can still make the NIT. <laughs> NIT is bad. Or the uh, the CBI, the college buy-in. The CBI, there we go. Mm-hmm. 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 I remember mm-hmm. they were all they were all fired up about it the year they almost won it, and then we actually won it. 
I do remember that. I was at that game. I was at that game with you. That's right. You were. I think I Bales was, not was with us, too. EJ Singler. EJ Singler. Man, that's that's back in the early days of Oregon basketball when it's like we got guys brothers. <laughs> well, would you so rather we have be... a guy's brother right now anyway? Well, yeah, well the guy's say, brother was a guy that went to Oregon. Would you rather would you rather be EJ Singler and be like a remembered player of the team you played for or Kyle oh, Singler, Kyle a very Singler. forgettable Duke player that nobody actually remembers who went to the NBA? He did, technically. He has minutes and stats. Certainly more than the three people on this podcast. But I'm just saying, I think I'd almost rather be the younger brother who, like, did awesome for a school that I, yeah, wasn't I'm, great. I'm then, siding with you. Yeah, the then... Big, the Big Fish Little Pond deal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like Because if you go... If you are decent enough to play for the Oregon Ducks and then continue to live in the state of Oregon, mm -hmm. like that's kind of a big deal. Mm -hmm. But if you go play at Duke and then you come back to Oregon, they're like, okay, that was cool. Yeah. Way to go, big guy. Nice. I did, you're going to find go out back that my to fucking Duke to watch their games all the time. No, <laughs> you're not. I did find out you're that, that uh, my nephew mm -hmm apparently is in Lavoisier 2 as like workout class. Oh, nice. Uh, he, he does like a, like a football specific, you know, like training thing, like three times a week for an hour you go and he teaches you just specific, like keep you in football shape drills and stuff. Mm. And I was like, I was like, that's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, my nephew has several Pokemon games. Oh. <laughs> and a cousin from Boston. My daughter has a cousin oh, from my Boston. My nephew has several Pokemon games. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for asking about my hobbies because I have several. <laughs> I want mm. to do bad things to Doja Cat because she's so sweet. She's interesting. Like, I, I, yeah, she would be fun, I think, to be around. She's so weird and goofy and, yeah. Is she the one that sings the Dance Monkey song? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Dance, baby, dance, baby, dance. That baby. one. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I don't know who sings that. She probably uh, is the one that shakes that ass, though, and makes me go, ooh. Ooh. She she has a, a very um, curvy. That is tones tones and I, is who sings that. Don't oh, know who that is. Who tones and I the new Rosalian Isles. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, um, Doja Cat. As soon as it loads this list, why is it taking so long? God damn. Um, didn't even know me. That's need to know. Need to know me. Yeah, I'm taking Why my headphones say... off. That's not. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That's me singing Doja Cat. I didn't like it. I don't know what that was. I was Jake singing Doja Cat. Yeah, I didn't like it. Hmm. Oh, the best friend song. She my best friend. That one. Who sings bow, that? Bow, 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 bow. I feel like it's a it's a Doja Cat esque artist that sings the song the A A B C D E F U. A B That's Taylor C Swift, isn't it? E F G H I J K. No, that's not Taylor Swift. Uh, that is Gail that sings that song. G A Y L E. Gay L E. Gay Gabe. Oh. Gay limited edition. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
God damn it, son, you're so fucking gay, they made you a limited edition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I downloaded that, sorry. <laughs> a, B, C, D. There was a kid. Oh, where was it at? Anyway, they just started singing, did the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. But in the A, B, C, D, mm. I laughed so hard. <laughs> like, uh, that is good, kid. You got me. Who's Jake Dickert, Washington State head football coach. Is it the... This guy just got hit in the dick because it hurt. Dick hurt. Dick hurt. <laughs> <laughs> this place is about to blow. Do I have this song already? I must already have it. Yeah, I have the Dance Monkey song. <clears throat> Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Yeah, I know she's got more songs. Freaky Deaky. She she made a song about the Taco Bell uh, Mexican pizza <laughs> on TikTok. And oh. That was funny. It got canceled, which sucks. The Mexican pizza? Hmm. Yeah, like years ago. Well, it was like fucking 2020. And I feel like from 2020 till now has gone by so fast. It feels like it was canceled last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I remember it because that was my go-to. Oh, I love that, it. The Mexican pizza. That was my thing. Well, my go-to has always just been two bean burritos with no onions. But on on it was like every third visit, it'd be like, hook me up with that Mexican pizza. You know, what <laughs> I mean? like if I wasn't in a hurry or just trying to grab like an acceptable breakfast on the way to somewhere else it was like right let's let's get that mexican pizza we liked we liked the mexican pizza so much at my house that we actually made our own mexican pizzas like that was a mm. dinner option occasionally like they were that. never as good because my mom didn't understand that they didn't use the corn tortillas they used like a flour and it yeah. was like a, a thinner thing she didn't get that she's like oh these are great i'm like they're not they're not <laughs> not good <laughs> Are you guys talking about Mexican pizza from like Taco Bell? Mm-hmm. Talking about how my mom had us make Mexican pizzas as like a dinner option. I'm sending you guys the Taco Bell. Because I love the it. The Doja so Cat Mexican pizza. Just continuing mm-hmm. a year ago, and uh, this led me. Oh, did you just send a Doja Cat thing too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I sure that's, did. That's her booty. That's her booty. <laughs> booty, 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 booty. For all you people at home. Pizza because I love oh, yeah. it so much. You did show I me this. The Taco Bell didn't discontinue it a year ago. <laughs> and uh, this led me to this monstrosity of a beat that I just made. <laughs> and um, I wrote a verse. And I hope you like it. And if you don't, I understand. So let's go. <laughs> I like that she had the bell at the start. Yeah. Fucking banger. Bangers all day. I've kind of had a crush on Doja Cat since Dave. (laughs) Uh, I mean, I've had a crush on her since Tuesday. (laughs) Like if (laughs) if she'll give if she'll give funny Jews a chance, like in the show, maybe she'll take pity on me. I was like, give. 
funny Jews a chance in real life. Yeah, like sh- Ooh, that would they- be a good name for the pre-show. Give funny Jews a chance. <laughs> Give Jews a chance. Now, gotta be specific. Funny. Funny Jews, right. So, yeah, Seinfeld, yes. <gasps> Cy Young, no. You can't say anything bad about Cy Young in front of in front of the Jews. Yes, I can. He played baseball. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> hey, I I now I must stand up for no, you don't. No, you don't. Inte- integrity nope. of the nope. game. Mm-mm. None of that. You're still nope. sitting. Nope. Yeah, well. <sighs> nope. I will not. I will. I refuse to live in a world where Jake supports baseball. Well, I'm not supporting it. It's supporting me. <laughs> nope. Nope. No, sir. Why is baseball lame, but girls softball is awesome? Uh, it has a lot to do with the immediacy of the game, uh, the difference of skill and effort involved, um, and the the a ground ball to short can still be a single. Smaller field, larger Fucking ball. Oh for two on that sentence, bud. Boom. No, if you if you if you hit the yeah, he gets it. Too. He gets if it. you hit the there ball to the shortstop, like you can still leg out your single. Like you can still beat the the ball if you're fast enough. Like or alternatively, if you hit the ball into right field, they can throw you out real fucking quick. Uh-huh. I enjoy softball. There's a lot more st- I, I like the strategy and like you can run at the ball to try to fucking hit it. And it's the same. It's the same challenge. It's uh, the 70 mile an hour pitch at that distance is the equivalent of a hundred mile an hour pitch at the off of a pitching mound. And those girls can fucking pitch like 30 innings a day, every day. Yeah, that's the other part. Is it's so much easier on your body. Like a, a girl can pitch back to back days, throw complete games, and she's fine and probably could go a third day. Yeah, if she had to, if it was for the championship. Just so we're clear, They're, male pitchers could do that same thing. They're probably just no. Bitches. Probably not, honestly. But not They're for, just bitches. Not for longevity. Like, right? They're bitches. Baseball no, players no, are all bitches. Arguing. They're, They're all bitches. Arguing. Little, f- yeah. never mind. Hey, baseball guys. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, black guys. <laughs> My be- The best was when I was on the track team in high school, and I was not good at track at all, but I was good at shit talking because I'm me. And uh, I said, hey, baseball sucks. And then the baseball players in the locker room, because track and baseball happened at the same time in high school, were like, what – what, what are you trying to talk shit? All you do is run around in circles. And I was like, and all you do is run around in smaller squares. <laughs> and they were like, oh, oh, yeah. And I was like, so shut the fuck up, dude. Half of you stand there. When's the last time that, that the opposing team actually hit one to left field? Like, come on, dude. You fucking stand there. It's boring as shit. But it's going to be really funny to watch 8- to 10-year-olds, some of which have never played before, play baseball. Oh, dude, you're going to spend a lot of time going, hey, game's over here. Yeah, fucking pay attention. Stop yeah, actually, dandelions. I, I, I disagree La-di-da. because we drafted kids based on like based on focus. Like that was one of our, oh. our things. Like we drafted kids that were engaged. And that is play. smart because that, that's a big part. Huh. Good choice. He's like money balling the fucking T ball league. I definitely fucking money ball. <laughs> I definitely put together Money balling the T ball league is also a good name for the <laughs> That's pre-show. a good name for the pre show. <laughs> no, like I'll I'll tell you more about the, the draft and everything when once we get into the show, but like it was it was something else, man. I gotta I gotta end up I gotta find a way to make friends with Manashi. Yeah, everyone's gotta be friends with Manashi. <laughs> Because the, the, ju- so the, cool. the jeweler. What about his son? Well, his, son, his son plays for, for him. Uncut jobs. <laughs> what you drinking Uncut today, a-, a Max? Prosecco, bro. Prosec bro. Prosec bro. Oh, can't go, you can't go wrong with a $6 bottle of Prosecco from Costco. 
Um, I mean, I could, but uh, I need water. Yeah, be right back, it, and then let's go. You stuck it up your ass. I'll be right back. Stick it up your ass, you're gonna be real drunk. Uh, that doesn't seem like a mistake to me at all. L O L. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready for your for your intro. I've got maybe one of the one of the most out of place but funniest intros ever. Oh shit! <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Oh shit! It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Let's go, Galaxy! Let's go! He's. I love Joe Latruglia so much. He's. He, yeah, he's great. Have I have I told you that like when it comes to like um God, Chelsea Peretti, mm-hmm. like I don't think she is the the person that she like. I think she's a regular normal person. But her character on Brooklyn Nine Nine, mm-hmm. like I am absolutely addicted to that toxicity. Like um, I, <laughs> like if I worked, if I ever came in contact with fucking, uh, what's her name in the show, um, Gina. If, Gina if I, said that. <laughs> if I ever like came came in contact with Gina, I would just be like, I I'm. I am smitten. Sorry, <laughs> this is my now. Call me a kitten. Because I'm trying I to think of her last name. Gina. Guerrero. No. Chavez. Yep. Lopez. Nailed it. Nailed it. Robin nailed it with. Gina Gutierrez. Chavez Lopez. Mascara. Mascaras. It's one of those. Mascara. Hyphen names. Sorry, this is that was just a run of the mill mascaras joke. I don't actually remember her name. Gina. Something Eddie. Uh, uh, no, that's you're thinking oh, Chelsea. Oh, Linetti. Who said Linetti? Uh, no one said it's Linetti. Linetti. Is yeah, it Linetti? Linetti? Is it Gina Linetti? Linetti? I told so you she's, something Eddie. So she's she's Chelsea. Gina, Chelsea Peretti playing Gina Linetti. Linetti? Oh. Yeah, that's funny. Ding. <laughs> Julio Gulio. <laughs> the Gabagoo. <laughs> That, that was one of Wait, the funniest. Your name was gonna be Julia Gulia. <laughs> <laughs> when That's... Julio started at at uh, at Dex, that was like one of the first things Micah Mooney said to him. He's like, "Wait, so your name is Julio Gulio?" <laughs> Wait, is that really his last name? No, no, it's Troches. But like, it'd be a lot funnier. It would be a lot funnier if it was. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. But no, he's, he's like Julio Gulio. You did. Man, what a day! I I have <laughs> this is the unemployed guy. What yeah. a day! What a day! Hey, hey real Woo. quick, real quick. Today is the only day that I get to flex because because I'm out of work, Alex. So today I get to flex. I made twenty eight thousand dollars today. So I don't know what y'all did. Today I get to flex my one time one unemployment flex. Everyone gets it. I got it today. Twenty eight grand, no big deal. Uh... NBD. I, yeah, um, let's start the show. That's my first question. <laughs> yeah, we got we got questions to, who do you to think, ask. Who, who do, first who do of you all, think you are? <laughs> I am. <clears throat> <laughs> all right, man. I am. Are you ready for a good ass show? <laughs> yeah. Because you're an island boy. He's an island boy. <laughs> trying to make life work. He's making life work because he's an island boy. All right. Here we are. We're back again. <laughs> it's another edition. It's another episode of my show. And he's a brother that'll smother your mother and make your sister think he loves her. Dangerous motherfucker raises hell. And if, if he ever gets caught, he'll make bail. It's that guy over there. Alex, I'm back the whole, the whole episode this week. Woo! But as always, I'm going to spend the best to ever do with the guy right over there. Over there. I don't know where he's at in your screen. He's here until he's not. He's, he's here, here until he's not. He's there. He's every fucking where. It's Roy Ken. It's me. Roy Ken. <laughs> One take, Jake, back <laughs> in the saddle again. 
Jewish Hamilton, number 23 in your programs, number one in your hearts. You know it's true. But we are joined by the third man in the booth. It would not be the show that we know and love. He is the head proprietor of our YouTube channel where he gets all the delicious content of us looking dumb into the camera up on YouTube, but also getting some good ass reactions. And when we show things, it's it's worth a look. All this preamble to say we are joined by Robin. It's very good. It's very yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is your captain speaking? Uh, if you uh, look to the left, you'll see the hey. pyramids of Giza. Uh, <laughs> it's believed that aliens <laughs> built these over 25,000 years ago. And If you look to your right, you will see Karen with the drinks. All right. If you look Unless at the, the back side. side. If you look at the back side of Karen, you'll notice a fat ass. Hey, oh. <laughs> but uh, we Very will be like landing in Cairo in about 25 minutes. But uh, just go ahead and enjoy the drink service coming up here. Uh, <laughs> you know what they need on airlines is like they need to start playing music like you're in the car. And like maybe do like a jukebox system where you can go like, up and like pick God. songs, huh? Okay. okay. Oh, I was just still doing. And like... then, oh, and then like you know maybe <laughs> oh. maybe don't allow the full album of some Nickelback thing to be played. Don't allow Nickelback at all, but every no, other. I mean, no, in general, you know what I'm gonna do? unless I'm you're gonna in Canada. And I'm gonna spend fifty dollars and just play the Boys Are Back in Town by Thin Lizzy over <laughs> and over. Yes. And over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone will know it was me and I'll have a plane full of rioters. I think I would go with uh the power of love all day. <laughs> you know That's what? The power of love. Time. Okay, all right, let's let's create let's create a five song playlist that we have to fly. <laughs> we have to fly from New York, LaGuardia. Let's fly into Helsinki. So this is a 23 hour flight. I say Geneva, you hear Helsinki? Well, okay, it's 23 hours from the West Coast. So let's say let's say we're leaving out of out of PDX, uh, going to Helsinki. 23 hours in the plane. We got five songs to that we want to listen to that we that we know what we're doing, and we're just going to to oh. irritate everybody. And so these five songs <laughs> will play at random in random order, but it okay. will be only these five songs. The, the first song that I throw on the list. And it's meant to be the continuous, the continuous reprieve from the four other songs that will that'll everyone on the plane will settle and go, oh okay, and then get even more angry when the other four songs. And it's it you got to throw "Don't Stop Believing" by Journey in there every single time that song plays. Everyone will go, okay, at least it, okay, we're okay now. But and then it goes back, and they go. No, even more than they did the but last time. Whatever song comes back. The best part of "Don't Stop Believing" is that it that either this it's okay. It's either "Don't Stop Believing" or it's um oh god uh ba ba ba. Sweet Caroline. Sweet, yeah, yeah. Caroline. Do we want Sweet Caroline ba, ba, ba. <laughs> or do we want that? No, we want "Don't Stop <laughs> Believing" because everybody people on the will plane... turn on "Don't Stop Believing." But yeah, but, but only only like a third of the plane at a time. That's the whole thing. <laughs> it, a third of the plane is gonna be like, fuck this song. I've heard it twelve times. While the other third of the plane is going, hell yeah, don't stop believing's back. I love it. And then the middle third of the plane, and not location. I'm just saying the other third of the plane is like, whatever. At least it's not insert the other four annoying songs that we <laughs> play, right? They're like, I'm so fucking tired of Power of Love. I'm so glad it's Don't Stop Believing. And then you got a third of the plane, like, just belting it out. Like, like they've never, they're never going to hear the song again. Little do they know. <laughs> Little do they know. Like, Don't Stop Believing is, is the perfect song because, ha like, half of every group loves it at the exact same time that the other half hates it. I feel and like Sweet Caroline's the same way. I absolutely hate Sweet Caroline. But you always hate 
Sweet Caroline. That's you true. will you will like Don't Stop Believing, then get tired of it, then it'll come back around like a family I'm, guy. I'm currently tired of Don't Stop Believing. Perfect. It'll come back before you die. Um, There'll be a time. There'll be a time. You'll hear it and be like, yes. I, I love the concept of people like hate, like loving, then hating, then coming to terms with, then going back to loving yeah. Don't Stop Believing. <laughs> Like like an abusive right. relationship with Don't Stop Believing. I love Don't Stop Believing. So we've got Power of Love, Don't Stop Believing. That's a good that's a good one. Uh, I'm not going to torture the people of Sweet Caroline and Don't Stop Believing. That's too much. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, that's too much crowd participation. <laughs> what about um, Party in the USA? Ooh, all right, that's a contender. So I put my hands up to play <laughs> my song. <laughs> But if as you're leaving the USA, that's the best part. This um, is a flight out of America. Right. <laughs> that's that's um, a contender. I'm not sure. I if also it's... thought of like, remember the Muppets? What about what about Bad Romance by Lady Gaga? Oh, I don't know if you can. If you're not going to put Sweet Caroline and Don't Stop Believing, I don't think you can put Party in the USA and Bad Romance on the list. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm saying, I, I'm like, we're getting contenders here. Like, I, oh, it's like, a contender. Don't Stop, sure. Be- don't Stop Believing made the list because, yes. like, it, it is the reprieve. Power of Love is on the list because it's Power of Love. Um, How about um, Shake It Off, Taylor Swift? Shake oh, It God. Off, Shake It Off. My ex man brought his new girlfriend. She's like, She's like oh, oh my, my god. god. I'm just gonna <laughs> shake it to the fella over there with yeah. the hella good hair. So we come on over, baby. We can shake, shake, shake. Close, close enough. And well, you um, know, what's the, uh, well, you know, the uh, haters gonna uh, hate, hate, hate. What's the Umbop by Hanson? Bieber song. Ooh, ooh. I counter Umbop with um, uh, ju- a jumper. I wish you would step back, step back from, from that, that ledge, ledge, my friend. Oh. You could cut ties with all the lies that you've, you've been, been living, living in. in. Yeah, that's a good one. We throw, d- d- how annoying do we think All oh. Star by Smash Mouth is? Hey, no. Um, almost All-Star. immediately, like, All Star will have the opposite effect as Don't Stop Believing. Like, everyone <laughs> will immediately hate it and then grow to appreciate it as the, as the night. And As the now, trip progresses, all star, get your game on, go play. I'm willing to consider all star. All star, get the show on, get paid. I like. I had no idea this is what we would be talking about this evening, but this is fantastic. I love do you this. remember? Do you remember? I want you by Savage Garden. Ooh, I, I want you. I don't know if yes. I need you, but ooh, I'm dying to find <laughs> out. That's not bad. <laughs> Wait, I, I've got it. I've got, I've got it. Love me, love me. Say that you love me. What about um Barbie Girl? I'm a Barbie, Barbie girl. Girl's good. Oh. Uh, we, you see, but we get into that Eventually, whole thing where like Eiffel 65 Blue comes into mind when you, when you start blue, bringing like. Rabbit. Yeah. Um. What if you did something like um, uh, Friends in Low Places, Garth Brooks. Oh. Blame it all everybody on my wants, roots. Everybody wants to sing, especially if you're drinking on a 23-hour flight. High like, class fame. What's the What's the one from from White Chicks? Oh, I have that. Um, Vanessa Carlton or whatever. <laughs> thousand miles. And I need you, but and, and I miss you, but Hollaback Girl by Gwen Stefani. Oh. oh. Uh, oh. All right, I just jumped out of the plane. I just jumped yeah, out of the plane. A thousand I'm miles. A, I'm putting Hollaback Girl on the list. Uh huh. This my shit. Dude, it's been oh. that. B A N A N A S. B A N A N A S. Hey, it's bananas. B A N A N A. Oh, this is great. Power uh, of Stop believing, Hollaback Girl. We have a what bunch about of. We are the champions. But not we will rock you. Just right. we are the champions. Just we Don't are the get champions. the cool, the cool prelude building up to it. It's just, yeah. just we, we are the champions. I paid my dues. My friends. <laughs> or something like Inagata De Vita, which is like 17 minutes long. I, I was just thinking about Freebird. I went to American Pie for my long song. Was Miss American Pie. 
Throne like a, a song that's a personal favorite of mine, uh, Horse with No Name. And I'm oh, going to the desert the on a horse, horse with no name. name. Yeah, it's good, good to be out yeah, on the rain. I love that's it. a song uh, that you'll turn on. Number, yeah. what is it? In the uh, desert. It's the loneliest number. You get that ooh. <laughs> 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 I see the problem is that you would have to infect everyone's brain with that bit of knowledge. I would. I, yeah. I would. I would. I'd be like, oh, this song, you guys, you guys know there's an uh. They wrote uh on the page, right? And the, the nine seats around me would be like, what? I'd be like, just listen. And they'd be like, two can be as bad as one because it's the loneliest number since the number one. Uh, I'd be like, you shout heard out, it. Shout out to the archives for the rest it. of that. And dude, it would happen. And then I'd get, I'd get my little third of the plane hating that song, just like I do. Available at badfacts.info. <laughs> what about like something like um bodies let the bodies hit the, <laughs> the bodies hit the wait what about <laughs> nothing wrong with me two nothing what wrong about me. nookie by lit biscuit <laughs> yeah bow, bow. it all for the nookie come on what <laughs> what rolling 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 hey, rolling or nookie <laughs> it's got to be a lit biscuit song. oh i got it's got to be nookie like a chump, hey, like uh, a chump, hey, hey like a chump. Hey. Should I be feeling bad? Should I be feeling good? It's kind of sad on the left oh. sock of the neighborhood. Photograph I... by Nickelback. No. Look at this <laughs> photograph. No. I always say it's Every it. time a dude makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Alex has removed his headphones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. God. What about what about um uh one we step already... cl- one step closer by uh, Creed? You know, Hold me now, I'm oh one God. step near the edge, and I'm thinking. Did we already mention Tub Thumper? No, I get tub knocked thump- down, tub- but I get up again. There you go. Never gonna keep me down. That's a good. That's a good one. What if you just threw in like uh, what is love? Ooh, that would be a good one. What is love? You, you see, it, you need that one's a little too popular. You have to pick one of the songs Dude, that everyone everyone out. will think that they like, but then realize that there's two lyrics and waiting hey, for waiting for tonight by Jennifer Lopez comes to mind. That's a good one. <laughs> be my lover. <laughs> be my lover. Wanna be, wanna be. my lover. <laughs> that's when we get into Call of Duty. And Aaron goes, beat my rubber. Oh, <laughs> Vanessa oh, Carlson's yeah. playing. Beat my rubber. Wanna beat my rubber. Um, ooh, what if you did some Jonas Brothers, like, sucker? I'm I don't sucker know any Jonas Brothers. You. I don't know any. Yeah, you do. You just don't realize it. Okay, How about try Uptown me. Funk? Because Uptown Funk gonna give it to you. I just I sang just one, like, and you knew it. it. I just like that. Is that the Jonas Brothers? That's not the Jonas Brothers. No, never mind. You'll have to listen back. Is it one of the Jonas Brothers that sings that sucker song, or is it all of them? It's what all of them. Okay. What sucker song? I'm a sucker for you. That, You've heard it. I recognize that. <laughs> what about a song? 24 Karat Magic? 24 Karat Magic. Or Ed what Sheeran. If, we could do Shape of You. What, what about... <gasps> What about <laughs> She Will Be Loved by Maroon 5? Anything by Maroon 5, and I'm crashing the plane. <laughs> That's Ooh. so terrible. How about, how about Single Lady? <laughs> oh, the Single Lady. Oh, oh the Single Lady. Yeah, <laughs> that's the whole thing. You both did it, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I did. I, I'd, have that, I'd have that song, and then you know you just, somebody's got to stand up and be like, li- listen, li- I'm going to let you finish to the, to the yeah. flight attendant. I'm going to let you finish. Uh-huh. Beyonce had the best music video of all time. <laughs> and then I sit back down on my seat and, and order like a diet coke. Um, um, wannabe? If you want to be my, my lover. Yeah. That's a good one. Or Africa, Toto. Dude, Africa is on dun, the dun, list. Dun, dun, no dun, 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 dun. We, Yeah, one. Africa, Africa by that's, that, that, that's our five. That's sort right. certified. <laughs> let's uh, let's let's finalize this five songs. Let's see. Uh, we, we've got the power of love. Yes. Don't yeah. stop believing. Yes. Hollaback girl. Oh. <laughs> Nookie. Look. 
In oh, Africa. In Africa. There it is. Is Africa too much of a palate cleanser? No. No, it's it's it it's perfect. Doom do 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 Because everybody loves Africa and everybody also hates the fact that they slip in the extra syllable on Serengeti. Serengeti. And so if you had to listen to it on a five song rotation for 23 hours from PDX to Helsinki, oh. Serengeti would piss you off by the end of the flight. Oh. You would be so mad. <laughs> I don't think it matters what songs they are. They're all going to piss you off by the end of the flight. But this is like this is like the Rage playlist. I love this playlist. I need to make it on Spotify. Oh, what and... about Turn Down for What? <laughs> Turn, Turn Down, down for What? <laughs> because imagine trying to sleep. <laughs> oh my god. That's like, yeah, everybody, everybody on the plane is <laughs> you hear it on the plane's intercom, and it only turns off for, for pilot announcements. And then when you try to put on your own headphones, like the plane Wi-Fi makes you listen to the same five songs. <laughs> this is like uh, uh, this is your captain show. speaking. Well, uh, we have turned on the fashion seatbelt sign, so go ahead and put those on. Uh, we are expecting a little bit of turbulence here. <laughs> Turns it out for what? <laughs> 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 oh for what? my god! It's the same five song playlist in a different song order. So you put your headphones on and it's "Don't Stop," <gasps> and you take it off and it's "Nookie." <laughs> then you put them back on, and you've got Africa, but you take it off, it don't you, stop leaving. There's five <laughs> channels, and they're all in a different, they're yeah, all in different they're sequence. All, uh, <laughs> shuffle order. Uh, the Lion Sleeps Tonight would be a good one. Hey, I'm going to say this. I, I want to know... For for oh, all of our no. for all of our <laughs> listener out there, <laughs> use the anchor app and send us a voice Oof. note. Tell us your five airplane songs for your twenty three oh, hour flight. God. Send it to us. We'll play it next week on the show when we have a special surprise, uh, super duper double probation guest host because Alex is apparently cat sitting or something. Uh, you didn't even have to say that much. You just said a surprise, and then you're like, hey. Two weeks. Alex isn't going to be here. Is it two weeks? Yeah, it's in two weeks, because next week Alex will still be here. The 23rd is my Spring break. first birthday. Uh, and so Alex needs a whole week for yeah. a birthday that the kid will not remember. 100%. It's, it's, it's for Molly. It's very good. Bingo. That's what I keep saying. Molly, the, Malone keeps trying to be like, it's her first birthday, and I say, no, it's your her first birthday. It's your anniversary of popping a kid out, is what like, it is. It's your it's your first first birthday, like, and it's, it's like, okay. Of... It's okay, and that's okay. Yeah, I'm not mad about it. Yeah. I support Man. my wife going big and extravagant for her own memory and pleasure and recollection. Make yourself so like, a, yeah. get yourself a cake. Hell yeah! Dude, Dude, I ain't mad about it. Up. But I also expect her to like admit it. You know what I mean? Like the wedding and the reception, that was a party for Malone also. But she admits that was a party for her. Cool. Right. Do the same thing for Chuck's first birthday. It's a fucking party for you. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna have a great time because mm -hmm. she's doing it up big and it's gonna be fun. That being said, it's a party for Malone. That's a pre-post Malone party. It's a pre-post Malone party. I'm writing that down. Pre-post Malone party is the name of this episode. <laughs> nice. Because yeah. there, there were. I mean, that has a lot of meaning. There have been a lot of pre-post Malone parties. Yeah, there uh -huh. it is. This is, this is, yeah, whatever. Um, pre-post Malone party version seven. <laughs> so I've had mark, the discussion with four. Riv about her first birthday. I was like, look, you were one. And I wasn't going to have a party for you because it's not a party for you. you. You don't remember. Do you remember being one? No, exactly. There's no sense in doing all that. So I want you to remember that. We've also had discussions about naming kids because she's been picked on for her name. Ooh. Shocking. I know. Um, Who would have seen that coming? Name. 
<laughs> right? Like everybody like, gets picked on for their name. Come on, every everybody gets picked on their for their name, yeah. but like it's just at random times they'll be doing geography and they're like, ha ah, river. <laughs> Not very creative, but. There okay. were. Is she? Is she? I imagine that she has to be See, fast enough to be like, ha ha, Tyler. This is why I couldn't be a teacher. Because you'd be the one doing it. Hey, check it out. Your name's on the map. It says River. <laughs> like, hey, hey, what's going on, Nile? Yeah. <laughs> She's a nihilist. She's a nihilist. <laughs> Check it out, everybody. It's Amazon. Am I right? Ah, uh, what's going on? <laughs> it's like where oh, I've been working. Because she I've always delivers. Oh. I just recently canceled my Amazon Prime account. I just <laughs> got a month for free. <laughs> I just did. I was like, I just I, got a shot put in the mail. I watched. I got a uh, rock. I watched <laughs> Wayne same. on Amazon Prime, which you guys need to watch if you haven't. I've been all. watching it. It's fucking it's good. phenomenal. What is it? Uh, Wayne. Wayne. Oh, we yeah. mentioned it last week or Super week before. Good. Um, it's a show about a kid from Boston, oh, and Boston. it's awesome. And then once I finished that show, I like really looked through like Amazon Prime videos like selection. It was like. None of this interests me. I'm gonna None save. Of it's good. Some, I'm just gonna save money. And the only benefit I was utilizing was ignoring Prime Video, and like stuff was arriving slightly faster. I can still order the same shit. They're just like it's gonna be there on Wednesday instead of Monday, and I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. I'll wait. Did you watch the the Prime. boys cartoon animated yeah. thing? Diabolical? No. Yeah, I didn't either. Did you guys see that there was a, a Letterkenny special today? I did not. On Hulu? Oh. It was for International Women's Day. <laughs> Bonnie McMurray. Mm-hmm. They no, apparently have an ugly didn't. off. I didn't have the energy to watch it. A what? I, well, I like I didn't have the time and the energy. I had to cook dinner. No, I, had to, I had to focus to watch Letterkenny because there's a lot of jokes happening. But what, is, what was the thing you said before that? I thought... Ugly elf? Yeah, they, no, they have an ugly off. Oh, an ugly off. I thought yeah. you said ugly elf, and then we moved on too quick. Like instead me. of a beauty pageant, it's an ugly off. Right. Gotcha. And then Bonnie McMurray instantly loses because she's too hot. Cannot lose that. No. Too, or too cannot hot. Cannot win, technically. Can't, can't win. She can't win. She's can't in win. a can't win situation. She is definitely a, a no win situation. She's a lose lose situation. She'll never date mm-hmm. Wayne, and she's not the ugliest in town. So get out. It's not that she wouldn't date him the other way. Hey, um, remember yeah. how at the start we were going to ask uh, a question? Uh, yep. What did you get $28,000 yeah. for? How well, and uh, why? And, yeah, and how do I get $28,000? I would also, with, with him. I want same. that. I want I want that. I will have that. I, what is it? I'll have I'll what have he's having. having. Yep, yes. That's it. Jinx. Nailed Give me it. some Coke. Perfect. You guys can't talk anymore. <laughs> this is the show. Uh <laughs> Uh, Robin and Jake. There we go. No, I said the name. I said, I said, put it back. I said, Robin and Jake, I said your name. No, um, (laughs) I, it's a really, really, really interesting story that goes, I cash out my 401k. There you go. End of story. I kind of thought that might've been it. (laughs) I had, I had a, a surprise. Your story. You're going to get taxed on that. You don't like it. That's after taxes. Oh, that's after taxes. Well, that's not bad then. That's not so bad. Yeah. Russia, Russia fucked me. That's for sure. Oh. Because literally, like the, I mean, Dick, I don't know, yep. the week, yeah. Dickhead. Fuck. Dickhead. Hey, like, let me dickhead. check real. Let me check real quick. Y- y'all keep talking about shit. Um, okay. Basically, I checked my 401k balance, the total balance. Um, right after, right, right before I got fired, I had uh just over fifty thousand dollars in my 401k account that's all through the work and there was an employer match and all the stuff they had set up and then uh russia decided to be fucking assholes and wherever my funds were diversified to like tanked it from like fit just over fifty one thousand down to like 42 in like however long it's been in like less than a month it just and so I was like super, super happy. 
in my head, I was thinking like, oh man, when I like, now that they fired me, I can cash out the 401k. And the previous number I saw was in the 30,000s. And I was like, hell yeah, that'll, that'll keep me unemployed for a while. Let's, let's fucking ride that <laughs> wave. And then, yeah. and then today when I went to actually do the whole thing, because I couldn't do it until I either quit or got fired, right? That's the way it was set up because of all yeah. the employee stuff. And so, boom, I go to do it. And yeah, it was down to like, it went from like 30, I think it was supposed to be like 34 something down to like 28 something. And I was like, fuck you, Putin. <laughs> fuck you and you Putin. stupid asshole. Well, I, I just I just looked, and uh, Ukraine is our seventeenth most most uh, listened to from country. Oh, nice, good. Shout out Ukraine. Sh- shout out Ukraine. If, shout uh, out sorry, Ukraine. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> if you're Putin's if you a, are Putin's if you can, a fucking dick. Yeah, hey, Putin's a if dickhead. you guys are watching the, the that's video, where I, I saw that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Please tell me what my shirt actually says. Leave a comment. Something. Um, we, we have conflicting. We believe it says something. Yeah. <laughs> and, it does uh, say something. We and know that's it says something. As far as something. we know, it says something yeah. or does Amazon, it? Like, Amazon says that it says one thing. John Oliver's last week tonight translated it different. Right. So, so I hoping, would like to know. Yeah. People so John, John, John know. Oliver has, has been known to try to get a punchline Hold being a, on. a comedian. But also. Not a comedian, a comedian. Not That's also knowing thing. that John Oliver wanting a punchline, but also knowing that the shirt would be a punchline anyway. Right. It seems like he would effort to translate that correctly or as correctly as it can be from Russian to English. I imagine that it might not be a direct translation. But probably a, a reasonable approximation. Yeah. So if you know... If you know, let us know. Because I also ordered two of those shirts, one for me and one for my dad. <laughs> awesome. So my dad he, oh go. Well, I was just gonna say we're we're talking a lot about stuff you gotta see. So you gotta yeah. go you gotta go to the YouTube. Yeah, we're going full Mitch Hedberg on this one. Because Look at that guy's hair. <laughs> last I checked the audio. I'm gonna, gonna go back I'm to the um to the YouTube page. I'm gonna check real quick. But we had multiple videos with no views and one of them was the video of the podcast that nobody could actually hear because jake didn't hit record so oh so we have the youtube of an an unreleased audio yeah oh so that's like a video only week Mm -hmm. so nobody has watched sign snipers video and 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 the original episode 209, the lost episode, only has one view, and I'm pretty sure that was me. Making sure um, I'm watching it at work. <laughs> uh, well, I was just well because I wanted to hear it because I didn't get to listen to it. I usually listen back, and so I was like, oh, I'm gonna actually watch this because why not? I mean, I, I should probably go. I want to go back and listen. I want to go back and listen to some of our older shows. I don't listen unless I unless I'm gone. So I'm actually looking forward. Do you do you listen to, like to the, the shows that you're not on? Most of them. I I don't want to say that I have a hundred percent listened to because I don't like going back far enough. I may have missed what, but I I listen to most of them when like Julio filled in back in the day, or if it's just a two man booth and stuff. So I've probably missed. I mean, like maybe one or two over the how many years and how many episodes we put out. But like, yeah, those are the ones. Twenty one. Those are the ones that I go back to so like on the 23rd when i'm gone and we record when that one comes out that's when i'll listen to just because it's like at that point it's, it's like a whole new show like it's, it's, right. we may we I make fun listen. of you for not listening like mm-hmm. on episodes we, we you're not have, on yeah. yeah like we make fun okay. of you for that I mean, so you should, you, we, we make fun of me when i'm here why would you stop when i'm gone also true <laughs> also also true <laughs> So I've been I've been listening to Dan Patrick's show a lot more lately, and, and like they have been just absolutely merciless to Todd Fritz mm-hmm. for the past couple weeks, and I don't know why. Since but it's, January, when McLovin left, it's all everybody's just made fun of Fritz the whole Fritzy the whole time. Yeah, like it's it's in like he got like he got the the occasional little jab little ribbing throughout the show while the four danettes were there and then as soon as McLovin left they were like boom fritzy number one target take this 
not this, all of it. Take all of it, and it, like, I, it's the yeah. trickiest thing. You'd think that the new guy, what's his name, Marvin, Marvin, would be the would be the get. Nope, it's not the guy. They pick on the most sensitive guy in in the group. Although the I have been listening to what is it, uh, Maggie and Perlov. McLovin's pretty great on his own show. <laughs> it's pretty good. Does he have a, a pood cast? No, he's, it's like that's the show he left for. It's like here. No, I understand that, but Dan Patrick is a show, and he also has a podcast that is the show that I can uh, listen yeah. to. I, I imagine CBS Sports Radio puts out a Maggie and Perlov release after the show. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to find out, though. Boom. Maggie and Perlov. Yeah. <sighs> Maggie and the Pearl coming to you tonight at eight o'clock. Apparently they were going to name it Maggie and the Pearl. And then they realized that that might uh, be construed uh, sexually. And they decided. As a clitoris? Like, <laughs> just, just something. That, uh, yeah, it's definitely on the Odyssey app for sure. Which leads me to believe that it's probably anywhere that you can find anything else. Apparently Maggie is hot. Whoa. Apparently Maggie is hot. Whoa. Oh, would Maggie get it? Generally true of Maggie's, uh, except for Gyllenhaal. And Simpson. And oh, well, hey, what's up? Oh, yeah, here's, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing about Maggie Gyllenhaal is she probably would be hot if she if she didn't look less attractive than her incredibly attractive brother. Like. Here's she the problem looks, with Maggie Gyllenhaal. Maggie Gyllenhaal and Jenna Fisher both have grandma face. With the with the cheeks. <clears throat> with yes. the cheeks. Oh, you're right. It's totally the cheeks. Get better cheeks. <laughs> Get, better, Get cheeks better cheeks is the name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta write mm-hmm. that shit. Get I am too. <laughs> we were uh we were watching we were I was hanging out with a friend of the show, Adam Wickwire, and uh, on the television that was running in the background as it normally does whenever I hang out with Adam, friend of the show, Wickwire, uh, Hitch came on, and I was immediately reminded that Ava Mendez suffers real hard from Fergieitis, where she is she is hot for exactly thirty seconds, and then as 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 second 31 happens, you just start picking apart everything that's wrong with her face. She's the above ground pool of actresses. Yes. She is only hot for the Fergie is the same way. Look at a picture of Fergie that's for longer also than 30 a good seconds. Title. And she gets less, <laughs> less. I like get better cheeks though. <laughs> oh, I'm still going to write it down. But yeah, I was like, I was like, oh yeah, Ava Mendez is in this. She's hot. Not anymore. Fer- Fergie became less hot because of what happened when she tried to sing the national anthem. Like, I feel like she lost hotness based on that really, really poor performance. Yeah, that's probably true. I could see that. I think she also lost hotness when she just stood next to her husband, Josh Dumel, who is an objectively attractive man. You got to be hotter than your husband if you're going to be a pop star. I don't know who that is. Like, you definitely do but i can't transform he's the white guy from transformers is he the guy that was on the office no that is timothy oliphant and they're the same that timothy oliphant is a 10 year old 10 year older josh dumel or josh dumel is a 10 year younger timothy oliphant depending on which one you like more i like timothy oliphant more because justified the office and mandalorian are way cooler and shanghai noon was he in Shanghai Noon? Pretty sure. He was also he was the bad guy in Live Free or Die Hard. Who who is the actor who plays Uncle Baby Billy? That oh I don't remember his name. Uh, Walgen, Walgen's, Wal, yeah. Walter uh, Goggins. Walter, there it is. Walter Goggins. Yeah. yeah. I, may, I think he's Justifies? the one in in, in uh, Shanghai Noon. Ooh, that would make sense. He's in Django. He's going to be in something that's coming up, like Jesus a new. Huh. I said he's in Django Unchained, and then I said True. the D is silent. But that's what Jamie Foxx says. He does. Yeah, Thank no, he's Jamie. gonna be he's gonna be in like a cartoon or a, a video game movie or show. Halo. Well, 
What if well, as a, what if as a and I can't believe they didn't think about this as a publicity stunt. Why didn't Jamie Fox put a D in front of his name for the entire time like Jane Gold and Shane was on and popping? Dude, it would be oh, awesome no. if like the movie theater poster said to Jamie Fox, right? Jamie Fox, yeah. yeah. That that's a missed opportunity, Quentin. Oh, Fallout. He's gonna be in the Fallout show. I'm interested in that. Right. Uh, is it a show or a movie? A TV series, yeah. I'll watch Fallout that. TV series with Walton Goggins. Go Ducks. Go Ducks. Oh, that reminds me. Are we caught up on fucking Righteous Gemstones yet? I, I'm watching yeah. episode seven. I was watching episode seven right before the show, so I've got two episodes to go. We are we, the 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 Maxwell side of this equation fully caught up. Amazing. I'll be caught up th- tonight probably. Perfect. So okay. next week we can deep then, dive. Then I can. Then I can focus. I, will, okay. I know. I know that um, Eli is in the hospital on uh, in, in some sort of coma, and okay. I just saw everyone throwing up scene. Hilarious. Good shit. So Great fun. shit. Dude, show is so. Wait, what? When everybody threw up. up. What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> out in front of the hospital, ever <laughs> just sat there yeah. throwing I, up. I wasn't looking, and I was writing something down. So the way I heard it was everybody was throwing up. Scene, you know, like you're interacting oh. and scene. And and they're throwing it up. Acting. 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 Yeah, I, I, yeah. But then I remembered. Um, and how about Peacemaker? Um, Peacemaker. I'm done. I'm good. I've got to catch up on. I, it's been on the back burner. Oh, so good. You're going to love it. You are going to love it. I My thing is, is I don't know how you can go through those shows so slowly. Because I could not stop watching. I, and no. I don't watch but more than like one episode a night. Like it's just. I was able to get to Peacemaker a lot faster than most shows because it it's a show that Malone has no interest in, so I can I could watch it through the week and stuff. So that oh, was see, one... I'm a lonely person. I have no friends and nobody to oh, just see, watch what I want. Malone is all about righteous Fuck. gemstones. So that was like I was telling you earlier, whatever, a couple of weeks ago, it was like that the show got released to HBO Max too late Sunday night, we were already heading to bed. And so I was watching it like Friday night for the Sunday previous. And that's what, but the final episode came out and that was, that was the weekend. I was like, Malone, we're staying up. Like you're going to bed at 11 and I don't care. And Mm -hmm. it's this week. It's worth it. And I was like, yeah, fucking a right. It's worth it. Like it's worth it. It was so good. Oh, um, the gemstones. The gemstones. You, did you finish Euphoria? All right, no, that's another one. Like, we oh. basically abandoned Euphoria for gemstones, and now we're like, when she comes back, we do like two episodes. So I think we've got, I think we have two and a half episodes left. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's one where we got Rue. Rue like got in the huge fight like with her mom and showed up at everybody's house and like fucked uh-huh. up their lives and shit like that was so you're like I think I'm on like episode, episode six I think it's like six or seven out of the <clears throat> is it ten so maybe we got like I I think I have like three episodes left I think I have seven eight seven eight nine eight nine ten something like that cool. it's so good when I thought. I saw the episode where Nate's dad implodes and and screws everything. It was yeah, s- such an amazing scene. Like as far as acting goes, like that dude. Yeah. I've only ever seen that guy on Grey's Anatomy where there's no acting needed because it's just a hospital drama. Yeah. And then to see him like just get hammer drunk, drive more intoxicated than anyone else to his like childhood stomping ground and then come home and screw up his entire life in a drunken like tirade i was like this is the best acting i've ever seen and then the next episode <laughs> zendaya's like y'all saw that just wait i was if like oh my god <laughs> if she doesn't win every award for that I, i'm gonna be upset because yeah i just there was like a so big, good that show euphoria gotten i guess a bunch of 
I guess, tr trouble. Not like they're going to shut it down or anything, but like Hollywood is criticizing the, they have incredibly long film sessions. Like it, they're like 17, oh, yeah. 17 18 hours a day on right. set, that kind of stuff. And the guy who plays Nate, who, although he portrays a fucking piece of shit, apparently he's a really nice guy. He yeah. was saying like, if I'm on <clears throat> set 16 hours, that means that Sam Levinson, the guy who created the show, is working for 30 hours, which means Zendaya is on set working with Sam and doing the producing publicity side of it. So uh -huh. she's putting 40 hours into every episode. So I don't have any right to fucking complain <laughs> about the, the the film, you know, the set conditions or anything. Like, yeah. I get to make movies and TV shows. Like, I'm living the best life. And I was like, yeah. good on you, Nate, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's the worst. That's a good show, though, uh, Jake. You would definitely it. like it. it. You'd hate it in the best way or love it in the worst way. You pick. Yes. It's infuriating, but it's so well made that you can't help but respect how infuriating it is. There's definitely some things you're like, hmm, uh, no, but I'm sticking around. So <laughs> here's here's the problem. And, and like I heard yeah. someone else describe it this way, and I was like, yes, that's exactly it. This, like, Euphoria is the new Squid Game. Like, I'm almost ready to watch Squid Game. Oh, you got to watch Squid Game. You'd love Squid Game. I just reset it on purpose. How have you not watched Enter Squid the Troll Game. Zone. <laughs> got because it. of this. I don't understand. When things get over, like, when things reach a certain fever pitch of hype and it's everywhere, like... The show was out for three days, and there were pop vinyls of it. I'm like, what the fuck is this world? It's like, so I just, I, I naturally abstain from it. And so, like, I've heard, like, everyone's talking about Euphoria, Euphoria, Euphoria. I'm like, okay, well, I'll get around to it when I fucking get around to it. I did the same thing with Breaking Bad. Euphoria might actually be a show that would be worth, like, binging the whole series. Like, if you haven't started yet, which you haven't, that's fine. I might just wait for like all three or four seasons that they'll inevitably make to be done. And then over the course of like a month, you just put the kids to bed and watch it with the wife and you guys will love hating it or hate loving it, depending on which side of the half full cup you want to be. If that makes sense. Something about cool. 16 year olds with face tattoos. Just I'm like Southern California and Florida are just a different world. Huh. Well, in, the, in D2, the Mighty Ducks, like, you, they were able, like, the kids were playing hockey in South Central, and they were so good that they were, they are so good at roller hockey that the skills translated to ice hockey, and they were good enough to play with the international team. <laughs> they were good enough to just become the international team. <laughs> the, oh, fuck, don't remind me of D2. The Mighty, I love D2, the Mighty Ducks. But there are so many parts of that movie that just fucking piss me off. It's just absurd. There's so much of that movie is just absurd. <laughs> it just doesn't. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, There's I missed. I missed all the super hype on Euphoria. I didn't get any of it, and I I saw an uh, you know on HBO when I get on there. It's like Euphoria, and I saw it a couple times, and I was like. Zendaya's kind of a good actress. Let's Amazing. I'll check it out. And so I didn't I didn't have any of the hype. No. Oh. I it's... didn't know. And Squid Game too. Like I don't know how I missed the hype on these things, but I just don't I I don't know how I miss it, but I don't see any of it. It's like Yellowstone. I, I've heard the same things that you're talking about with Yellowstone, mm -hmm. but I didn't hear them until after I I watched it. I feel so, like Squid Game specifically <sighs> You, the group chat and stuff, we were all, I mean, Jake missed it as he's admitted to, but the rest of us were talking about Squid Game like as it came out. So I think with Squid Game, you ended up watching it like before the hype even happened. Like it took a week for the hype to happen because it took a week for people to binge 10 episodes of Squid Game. And I think yeah. in the first week, week and a half, we had all watched it. So it was like, as the hype happened, you could just ignore it because you're like, oh, I, I seen it, right? I seen, seen, you, so seen you rip a man's jaw clean off. I seen, <laughs> I seen it. it. Squid I Game seen. was one that I um that I caught the start of the hype. Like, I I saw the, the stuff on um, 
comicbook.com and all those like mm-hmm. comic and movie behind the scenes yeah. uh Facebook's things that I watch. And so that was where I was like, okay, I'm going to check this out. And I think the first thing I read about it was watching it versus with subtitles on versus mm-hmm. watching it with dubbed mm-hmm. and and the difference and i was like okay so if you've got this show and it's worth going through all that trouble i'm willing to try it so like what's the difference between it being dubbed and it being subbed there's just different ways that things are translated yeah um, they the English you know, the English voice actors they used were given a script that was significantly more like Englishized than the subtitles. Yeah. And the subtitles kind of don't in certain instances don't make sense because the Koreans use directly translated words with different meanings. And so like there's parts where like the main uh, one I remember was something about the word honor. And like in America, honor, right, is is this prestigious thing. You show honor to somebody. This is great. And then in Korea, it's a little more informal than that. And so like some of the subtitles come across as like this guy's in some form of like reverence because they use the term honor. And then like, but in Korea, it's just like, yeah, he's just saying like, what's up? Yeah. And so it's like, but then the English dub The guy just says, like, hey, what's up? And so it's like you get a little more, I guess, American-friendly version, if that makes sense. I put it on the audio dub with the subtitles so I could – I was actually watching to see when it was different. Oh, gotcha. That's – So you kind of could catch both ways. But, um, yeah, that was – yeah. It's it to me that that is very honestly when I really think about it, you not watching Euphoria is the most Jake response to anything ever. You, <laughs> you tend to have the anti, like of the super popular thing. That's why you guys wear Adidas instead of Nike. It's like you, it's not the popular thing. I want to do this. It's different. The, that and Run DMC. The archives. We did talk a, a ways back about how, like, I in my in my own friend group and Jake in his own friend group were like directly responsible with introducing Letter Kenny to like everybody we knew, and then once everybody we knew started watching and quoting Letter Kenny all the time, we both like stopped watching the show. Like, we watched like seasons one through like seven, and then. Eight and nine came out, and you were like, "Did you watch it?" And Jake and I were like, "No, mm-hmm. no, yeah. but it's exactly, it's, okay. it's that, that's exactly that." Yeah, it's like, uh, and so I definitely get the the hype forcing you into like, a, "I'll wait and see" kind of a situation. Because I don't want to like the I, what I don't like having happen to me is what happened with the Quiet Place. Is I bought into the hype. I, I heard this is the greatest movie of all time, I, and I went into it expecting it to be the greatest movie of all no, time. It's the worst movie. And so, like, when when everyone's like, "Oh my God, you're gonna love," it, it's the same. It's I I feel I call it the Seinfeld effect. When people tell like people seem to like to tell me what I'm gonna like, <laughs> they're <laughs> like, "Hey, you'll like check this out. You'll love it." And then I watch it, and then I'm like, "Okay." Yeah, but I that did. is literally how we review things. I know. <laughs> And you should watch it. I like, that's, you should watch it. I but mean, that's listen, it. like, listen. But, like, whenever, like, if I were to say, like, I don't really like Seinfeld, people always respond with, really? How could you not like Seinfeld? And it's like, there's My an expectation. Is, there's, is, like, an expectation uh, of me to like Seinfeld. And so it's like, I feel like people, like, if I don't like your expectation, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to have this conversation again. I do understand so, why people think you would like Seinfeld, though. Like, most of your humor resides in observations. I'll quote I a Seth not. Rogen-looking motherfucker as one of the greatest things you've ever said. And that's pure observation, because you looked at him, and he was Dollar Tree Seth Rogen, and that was funny as shit. And so, like, you directly translate that to Jerry Seinfeld's entire shtick 
is observational humor. So of course I could see how people would be like, Jay's gonna love Seinfeld. Have you seen Seinfeld? And you're like, no. And they're like, what? I Sorry, feel like that's a, that's a, a person, somebody that says, Jake, you would love Seinfeld is a person who doesn't really know you that well. Cause I would think, I would think that's not really a show you would like. I just knowing you. Yeah, I like Seinfeld, and I can also understand how people wouldn't like Seinfeld. The same as I understand how people wouldn't like The Office. Yeah. I don't agree with them. I well, think they're stupid when they don't like, like The Office. Office. I think they don't understand life. But those those people that don't like The Office are the kind of people that are going to think that Big Bang people Theory is a really great show. People who don't like The Office are the people who I wish COVID actually killed. Well, my parents hate The Office. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? Said, I said what I said. Oh, right. We've had this conversation because... They, they, yeah, because they don't watch it. They listen to the TV. That's I'll, why they like Gang Bang Theory, because <laughs> it's, got the canned, it's got the canned laughter in it. And so they're like, oh, I know I need to pay attention because they told me to laugh. Gang Bang Theory as the, as the episode title. I mean, that I know could we be can't. the name of our group text. <laughs> it's I, I mean I, it might change from Joe's discount Legos to Gang Bang Theory. Uh, please please don't change the name of the group chat of of four dudes <laughs> from discount Legos to Gang Bang Theory. Well, I mean it, it could just say I'm here for what the gang. Them bang. I'm related. That help? What the four dudes I'm related to, so that makes it weird. That's oh, weird. When in Rome. When in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Oregon. I'm in Oregon. Anyway, that's there's a Rome in Oregon. There is a Rome. I was saying, I was trying to think. I think we talked like, about that last week when you weren't on. It's true. <laughs> nice. It's damn true. <laughs> yeah, it's there's damn true. Cities named Salem in America, so that doesn't make any sense. There's what? There's over a hundred cities named Salem in America. Hmm. Really? Yep. Zip code is what differentiates them in, in the other states. Huh. Well, that's what differentiates most cities. Right, but I'm saying oh. most cities aren't named the exact Iowa. same. Like Iowa's Iowa has two Salem, the most... Iowa. There are two Salem, Iowa's. I mean, well, I mean, if there's over a, if if there's there's over over 100, 100 there's got to be multiple there's states. There's only one Salem in Oregon. That means all other states have to have multiple Salem's. So Oregon has a below average amount of Salem's. Yeah. You have above average number of arms. <laughs> Nailed it. And a below um, average amount of bones. This Ooh. says 20. No. 24 mm -hmm. cities in the United States named Salem. Ooh. Um, keep Fact going. checker strikes again. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. This one says 32. See? Wait a minute. The you add this together, that's 60. <laughs> oh, my God. Shot him with my... This one next, says 37,000. No, just kidding. <laughs> the next person that says another number is going to hear from my 45. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 home FD, big fan. Sorry. It's very Super good. Trooper, me of... FD. How how far into it are you? Like halfway through season two. It's 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 very so, good. So when the girl, what's her name, it's Lucy? Nice. Yeah. Who's super hot and super also hot. in Yellowstone. Uh, when she no. recruits, is it Darcy to come from Station Twenty Seven to Twenty Four? Yes. And Darcy gets put on the C shift with all the hot dudes, and then like acts like she's the victim of all their jokes, even though she's apparently not by the end of the episode you find out she's not spoiler alert for all those who haven't seen Chicom fd still funny watch it anyway still, uh but yeah that it's not like it's a plot spoiler right that that episode which i think is like season two episode six question mark is the last episode i saw mm -hmm. what's and her so, name lucy wait lucy. the actress name, i don't know the actress's name but she's lucy her, in Tacoma her FD. name is Cassie Harrison. There it is. It's super like hot. Cass, Cassie with an H. And she plays Cassie with an Lar H. Hey. Hey. She, she calls. She plays Laramie on Yellowstone, which I think was like the 
the small town yeah, congresswoman or whatever that they partner with in yeah. season three and then end of season four which i haven't seen because definitely it, hot because it streams on what is it the 28th or something something like that i think we got a couple of weeks before it comes to to paramount or peacock I, or whatever so i'm stoked i realized that the guy who plays maya wani is the the guy from the opening scene of super troopers yeah is like she could sue me. <laughs> I had that. I had that epiphany the other day, and I it like I had to sit down. It blew my ever loving mind. <laughs> Dude, the one that blew my mind is that grandpa or granny is yeah. is the is the dude who gets his brain switched in Get Out. He's the sprinter. I've never seen it. It's not good. Jordan it's, Peele's horror movies are, not, are the epitome of overhype. It's terrible. It's, it's not good. I feel like Jordan Peele like, did Key and Peele and uh, now resents like that. that about himself and like now tries to make the opposite of comedy. He, he literally said in, in like an interview that he's always wanted to make horror movies and mm-hmm. was like, essentially, I, you could use the term typecast for, for layman speak into like the funny black guy because he's he's just smart enough to be funny but has always wanted to make horror. mind-bending horror movies and then got his opportunity once he became kind of a household name and so like it's exactly what you said sans resentment like i don't think he's mad about key and peel he's just like now that i'm famous i can do what i want fair okay closer cool. to jeff bezos than than angry Jeffrey Bezos. Small business Bezos? Yes, that guy. Yeah. More cheap pain than... Uh, yes, yes. Than any any comparison you're going to make is perfect. More cheap pain than anything you want to insert. <laughs> More cheap pain than anything might actually be the name of this episode, if you ask me. More that's great. pain. That was I remember, dangerous. I remember watching the... Was it the I'm on a boat video? Yep. And then he's like, cool, right at the start. And then somebody, I remember talking to like my little brother, like, I wonder what T-Pain's voice really sounds like. And I looked right at him and went, uh-huh. cool. Because it's like uh-huh. the only time I had heard him not auto-tune to that point in his career. But now I've seen him on Bar Rescue and several hilarious Instagram, TikTok, YouTube things where he's streaming video games and, and, and crushing fools at Call of Duty and stuff. But... Mm-hmm. At that point, cool was the was the first and only word I had heard him say unauto tuned. <laughs> cool. I remember like when I the the moment I realized that T Pain was a cool guy and that he he wasn't yeah. like he wasn't an asshole was mm-hmm. the save that money video with little Dicky. Do, do, do. When he like when Dicky shows up and is like, Hey, can I steal shots from your music video basically? Yeah, and, and T Pain's like, yeah, that sounds That's really funny. Money. <laughs> so he's like, so he's gonna be over here filming. Like, don't worry about it. He's <laughs> just gonna be stealing shots, and uh, like, it's not gonna affect what we're doing at all. All right, let's go. <laughs> I, got, I got a, I got a question. Why I got a question you, for you too. You say this. I've heard you say it many times, but where did you get the word Tiffany? Um, so it comes because it's from, not a real word, and no. I didn't realize it wasn't a real word because you use it so much, right? With confidence, and I was like, "That's not the word." No, it's but definitely not. It, it's okay, it's a, the he's, word is epiphany. Yeah. He's looked. He said it so many fucking times. I have to look it up now to see if he's just <laughs> making shit up. Yeah, because nobody's yeah. ever gonna acknowledge it until somebody does. Um, uh, no, it's it's uh from Trailer Park Boys. Uh, Ricky Ricky has frequent malapropisms and like says things wrong. And my favorite one he ever said is, uh, "I had an epiphany the other it's night." It's very Michael Scott. Yeah. yeah. So like I just kept I like I loved it so much. I'm like I'm just gonna roll with it. I love epiphany. It made me laugh. So. Yeah. And yeah. Nobody ever calls me. me on it. It's no one has me ever and, called me on it. And I'm like, all right, motherfucker, this is my job. Time to fact check. <laughs> Time to not a word. Check. Not a word. Not a word. Not up in here. Not up in here. Leave it in. 
<laughs> well, Alex plays the hits. <laughs> well, these people, yeah. they could have been anywhere in the world. Alex plays the hits would be a great name for the episode. <laughs> yeah, Might be the game winner at the buzzer, just like <laughs> they could have been anywhere in the world. We appreciate that. Make sure you're checking out the missing episode on YouTube. You're uh, you're missing out if you haven't seen it. It's some some good shit. And don't uh, act like you've seen it because I know nobody's seen it. Yeah, because you'd be lying. I watched it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, get on get on the Anchor app and let us know what your five songs are that you want to you want to torture people with for a 23 hour flight. <laughs> Never gonna give you one. Ooh, Never gonna uh, no, I'm gonna I'm going to say you are not allowed to use. Never gonna give you up. I, uh, uh, yeah, that's too easy. Too easy. Ah, uh, I will never give it up. So, and Rick I Astley. Ask what if? Rick what if? Is a guy I have a beer with. What if you? What if Rick Astley had a DVD <laughs> copy of the movie Up, and you asked him to give it to you? He would never give you up. He won't. But but he then won't. he would. But then he would. And by doing so, he would be letting you down. Only if you were only if you were stuck on a chair table. <laughs> but for this episode, <laughs> this edition of my show with Alex and Jake. Good night, universe. That's a podcast. Fuck Putin. I mean, go ducks. Very good. Both of those. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Do 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 do. do. Do, 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 do. That might be a good one too to put on there because they'd be like, "Oh man, it's a jam," and then it just keeps going for days. I can just imagine putting on like some other like random ass white stripes song that's just like completely cacophonous and some deep cut that not even white stripe fans are actually yeah. fans of. Yeah. on the ceiling. That's actually a good one. White stripes suck. Just gonna say it. They have a few songs the black I like. Keys. Gold on the ceiling is what I was thinking of. Black mm-hmm. keys aren't bad. I like the black keys. Pretty good. I like the white keys. <laughs> yeah, you do. White All keys, right. night keys. I like the white sands. Speaking yes. Of. Speaking of which, hey, Hi, see boys. You guys later.